This is my restart account in Rise of Kingdoms, and I am migrating. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiscool Gaming, and in this video, sponsored by the makers of Rise of Kingdoms, I'm announcing that unfortunately, I am migrating. And I say unfortunately because I really liked 1723. I thought. We had a really kind of amazing thing going on with the people that were in this kingdom. But a large group of players have splintered off to go back to KVK Season 2. Now, this video is going to do a couple things. First of all, it's going to talk about whether or not you should be migrating. And if you're going to migrate, should it be a younger kingdom or an older kingdom? The other thing I'm going to talk about is how do you prepare to migrate? What are the things you need to do? before you actually go, and there's a couple things you can do to save your resources because you can't take them with you, man, which really kind of sucks and is part of the reason why you shouldn't just open your resource tokens. Even if you think, I'd never migrate out of this kingdom, well, maybe you will. So don't use your tokens before you need to. And I don't know, there's probably something else I'll add on at the end. So let's just get started with, should you migrate or not to a young kingdom or to an old kingdom? Now, look, the advantage of being in the uh, I guess latest and greatest kingdoms, the ones that are in the season of conquest, is that you get the newest hotness as soon as it lands. I mean, sure, March of the Ages uh, is a KVK format that I personally am not in love with, but if you want to be on the tip of the spear for whatever the newest, greatest thing is that hits the game, it's in the season of conquest. You get access to the newest KVKs, the newest commanders, the newest everything, basically. Uh, but... That comes with the disadvantage of crystal technology, which a lot of people really don't like, and they go back to KVK Season 2 to avoid it. Now, if you go back to KVK Season 2, you can't bring any of your Season of Conquest commanders or equipment, and technically you can bring them, but you can't equip or use them. So they just sit there uh, rotting in your inventory, becoming potentially less relevant than they were before until you get back to Season of Conquest again. So for me, I really was very resistant to going back to KVK Season 2 because I can't use Guan anymore. He's Season of Conquest. I can't use Trajan anymore. He's Season of Conquest. I can't use CJ anymore. He's Season of Conquest. My best commanders, obviously. I mean, the best ones are in Season of Conquest, but I've, I've got three legendaries that I'm, half my expertise legendaries come off the table. And by the way, you can see that they're not usable in Season of Conquest right up here, okay? Um, why would I go back to a Younger Kingdom? First of all... I'm sticking with a group that I've been with for a very long time. That's a piece of the puzzle that's very important. Uh, but also, a part of the reason I think people go back to a young kingdom is to try to make a stronger kingdom than they could have where they were. You know, look, 1723 was a very powerful kingdom for its size in the season of conquest. And I think there were just a number of people that were opposed to the crystal tech and didn't want to spend on that. So instead, they're going to spend on passports or get them free to play or however that's going to happen and jump back to KVK Season 2. Now, the thing that is an advantage about a young kingdom is that often they have a lot of players in them, a ton of players in them. And so if you go back to the right Season 2 kingdom, they can be extremely active and an amazing, amazing starting point for building a powerful kingdom when you get to the Season of Conquest. Now, I hope... That's what the group that I'm doing uh, is planning to do at some point. I don't know. All I know is that you all as an audience voted multiple times on polls that I did and said you wanted to watch KVK Season 2 and 3 over again. I was surprised because I, I'm really hyped about Season of Conquest, but a part of the reason I have this account is to be able to show you that earlier stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if we can make a really strong KVK2 kingdom. I'm going to join up. We do KVK2, we do KVK3, and I got to get going really quickly. Why do I say that? I want to go there before reset, in part because I will get back all of my troops that I had die in the Hall of Heroes after reset. So I need to make sure that I'm out of here before the return time, because if I'm not, then uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty awkward to increase my passport cost and then go over. And I want to go over there as soon as I possibly can, because... I want to make sure that I start accumulating resources for the next big fight, which is what I want to talk about. What do you do to prepare to go? Obviously, you need the passports, and you have to spend down your resources below your storehouse. Well, there's one thing you can do to, to accomplish that, and that is queue up a bunch of troops to get trained. Now, I had a bunch of resources open 
because I've been gathering very diligently uh, ever since the fighting stopped. And, pff, okay, now I'm migrating. So I popped the two 50k extenders that I had and the two 20k extenders uh, to queue up a whole bunch of T5 troops. Cost a ton of resources. The reality is that I was going to train them without a title anyways and without a rune probably on this account. Like, you know, I don't have time to micromanage this account and perfectly optimize it. I, I barely have time to breathe anymore these days. So I just queued this stuff up and that's ready to go. That's been down a shocking amount of my resources, especially gold. I mean, 52,000 T5s is actually, I guess it's 42,000 before, wow, 42 days. Good God. That's it's gonna be a while. Would have been nice if I had done that in conjunction with other buffs. You should plan better than I did. I didn't. Is what it is. That's what I'm gonna do. The other thing I'm gonna do is hand off these resources to someone who is worthy. I'm gonna give those to the king because obviously. So I'm gonna teleport right next to them to make my life easier. And then I'm gonna hook them up with these resources. I will say that this player, A99, is really awesome. Uh, I think that this kingdom has good potential. My departure here is not a reflection in any way of the leadership that's here. I think they're fantastic. It's purely because with this account, I need to do one of two things. I need to either cover what the people want to see, uh, which is going to be um, the season of conquest in a big kingdom, or uh, it's uh, apparently going back to KVK2, um, or I need to be doing something I mean, I, I don't know. There's got to be some, like, special mission for me to not be in one of those two situations. And, and I don't have such a special mission. The only account that has that is my Kingdom 2 account, where they used to show events before they would go to every other kingdom. They don't anymore. So, is what it is. I'm going to hand off these resources. The other thing I'm going to do, by the way, to spend my gold, is I'm going to do some crafting. Now, I debated what should I craft. And I kind of realized that I am not going to have enough resources to use tons of T5 marches, especially because there's no resource cost reduction in the old flavors of KVK. I'm barely going to be able to field fight in the old flavor of KVK, which is really going to kind of suck. But a part of what I want to do is highlight the realities of being in one of these younger kingdoms. And one of those realities is not having a lot of resource reduction cost for healing your troops. This is just a reality. Now, I can, although I can't spend these resources I'm transferring, I can spend some of my gold making equipment, as I was saying, but I don't want to make an archer set of gear because like, I'm, I'm not going to have, I mean, I'm not going to have enough marches to use. Like if I bring five marches, I'm going to run out of resources so fast in those versions of KVK, like I'm just done ski. So I'm not going to make a ton of gear, but I am going to make a couple things. I'm going to make some accessories. In fact, you don't need to watch me transfer these resources. I'm going to transfer these resources and be right back. Okay, the majority of my resources are now transferred, but I'm not quite done. I got to spend that gold and do the crafting that I was just talking about. There's a couple things that I think I can go and make. One of those is going to be an accessory. I'd like to have a Delane's amulet. Ideally, I can tell it in infantry. That would be the perfect situation. So let's quick forge on this sucker. Oh boy. I, I expect a ducky. I truly do expect the ducky. I'm really disappointed that all my accessories are not going to work where I'm migrating. Oh, my God. That's a big, fat rubber ducky. Is what it is. The next thing I'm going to do is try to talent another piece of gear that I've already made. Uh, that is right over here. I'm going to refine this and hope for the best. Please work out. Oh, it is going to work out. Ha <laughs> ha! It's guaranteed. It's guaranteed, baby! I'm gonna talent this thing leadership so that finally I've got at least one more piece of gear in a really great spot. My Trajan gear is gonna be fantastic. Are you ready? I'm definitely ready. We're gonna smash refine. It's gonna use up some of these uh, universal patterns, whatever. Find a way to spend some gold and get the guaranteed talent. I'm gonna smash off leadership. I'm gonna hit confirm. And we are good to go. Let's go, baby. Okay. So Trajan's gear is slightly better. I don't actually have enough patterns to make the gloves and boots for this guy. But I realize as I look at my accessories, there is one more accessory I can make that I didn't realize I could do. And I have an ancient stratagems. Well, yeah. I mean, I can't use my other accessories, 
but I'm pretty sure I can use an Ancient Stratagems. If I can't, rip me, but if I can, hooray. So let's craft this and hope for the best, yeah? Here we go. Quick forging. Spending my gold. Yeah, Ancient Stratagems. Troop capacity. Come on, baby. And that's a big fat rubber ducky. Cool, 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 cool. So I've now got more accessories to repla just replace my amazing legendary accessories that I've got that I won't be able to use. Super rip. This is actually a shockingly good time to make some of these things if I really wanted to, but damage to barbs, I don't overly care about that. I guess I could try to talent the one that I have if I haven't already for rallying barb forts. Really? Sure. Let's refine the savage totem and get the extra damage to barbarians because I can't take this gold with me. So I refine it once and literally a big fat donut. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Again. Come on. You know, sounds about right. Now, I mean, can I? Nope. No, there's nothing I can do about that. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. The other spot where you can spend a little bit of resources, of course, is in the courier station, the VIP shop. I think I've spent the majority of my resources over here. I mean, I don't, I don't really need some of this stuff, and now I'm spending resources that are below my storehouse limit anyways, so that's silly too. Let's talent some gathering gear. Normally, I wouldn't spend my gold to do this necessarily because I don't know what the time horizon is to get the return on the investment, but sure. Why not one-shot the gathering gear? That seems reasonable, doesn't it? Sure. Confirm. Great. Confirm. Okay. And I've got more gathering gear. I can refine it. This is ridiculous. Okay. Wow. 75 on the gathering gear. GG, Chiskool. And sure. Integration. This is so dumb. Confirm it. Okay. Why not? And oh... What's that, Chiskool? Another piece to refine. I even have the patterns. Sure. 75 on that. Why not? Oh my god. Okay. Integration. Confirm. I am surprised just how much gold I've been able to spend just now. I find it fairly shocking how much gold I just jammed out on different things. I mean, and I could make more gathering gear, apparently. I've got, like, one piece of gathering gear on my Joan of Arc over here for some reason. What in the world? At this point, you're probably wondering, Chiskul, where are you going anyways? It's back to Season 2 in Kingdom 2293. This is where I'm going, and if you wanted to join... As soon as I have a link for the Migration Discord, assuming they've got one or a point of contact, that will be in the pinned comment. Uh, they're going to be very, uh, I think, scrutinizing of players that are uh, going to be over like 35 or 25 million power. Uh, but for players that are lower on power, I don't know, might be kind of easy to get in to be determined. I'm getting a look now, just waiting for the cap to be lifted. The king has given me the thumbs up. So I'm waiting for my immigration power cap to go up. Then the game is probably going to tell me how I somehow forgot to do something <laughs> to uh, properly be able to migrate. And I probably did forget something. So the game will let me know. There's no cap. Okay, there it is. This is the right kingdom. 2293. Uh, we are heading over. I hit view instead of migrate. So that's awkward. Uh, but just to show you, I am looking at the right kingdom. There's SIP. There's the feel-good of my nightmare situation, hopefully not happening, which is migrating to the wrong kingdom. What a disaster that would be. Okay, anyways, I'm going to hit the immigrate button, and it's telling me, hey, you got commander limitations, dude. I'm not going to be able to use any of these commanders that I have unlocked. This is really a bummer. I can't use any of this amazing equipment. It's just going to sit there. So... Uh, I won't be able to use it until Season of Conquest again. RIP is what it is. City Hall has to be 16 or higher. I have to have the passport pages. My marches have to be home. My city and troops cannot be in battle. Uh, I have to leave the Alliance. Uh, your number of resources does not pass your storehouse. After migrating, you need to wait 30 days before you can migrate again. Immigrating will normally reset 
any current event points back to zero. So to that end, I need to leave my alliance, and then I smash that immigrate button yet again, and then we migrate over there. So here we go. Alliance, help one last time, last trophies, claim them, another trophy, gee, thank you, and rip, quit alliance, yes. Like I said, I really liked the people I was playing with here. I thought they were really fantastic. Um, I think in my perfect world, this kingdom would have just stayed together, but a sufficient number of people wanted to go back to KVK Season 2. That's a group I've been playing with for a very long time, and I'm going to go with them. You all want to see it, and I'm going to stay loyal to that group. I would love for the people that are in this kingdom potentially to come to uh, 75 if they wanted to, but that's something we'd have to explore later. Here we go. Immigrate. Please familiarize yourself with the immigration process first. Wow, it actually makes you go and look at these screens. You cannot not know. You have to know that, like, you can't use this stuff. Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, now, I wish I put the kingdom number in here. It'd make me feel a lot better, but uh, yes, migrate. It's happening. It's all so fast. And just like that, we're in 2293 with uh, Sip. There it is. The brand new kingdom. Now, looking at this kingdom, we get a look at the Alliance power. The Alliance power numbers are a lot lower than I'm used to looking at, let me tell you. Holy moly, it's a whole new world that I've just entered into. But hopefully a fun and good one. I've got to go and let the king know that I'm in so they can close the cap. Okay, just did that and I'm back now. Uh, I'm hyped to be here. I think this is going to be fun. It's going to be a hell of a journey. You all want to see KVK2 again. I'm out of touch with the realities of KVK2, so it's time that I get my freaking um, sleeves rolled up and hands dirty, seeing exactly what it's like to migrate back. Is this process worth it? Subscribe, because I'm going to tell you exactly whether or not I think this is the way to go with your account. Until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom. And if you want to see what I did with my equipment and commanders on this account before I just said, oh, let's just take half of that amazing stuff I've made and make it irrelevant, uh, check out the card up in the top. It'll give you the playlist where I was fighting on this account for days on end.